Kia ora. Since 2022, New Zealand's got a new public holiday, and it is celebrated in June or July. Do you know what day I'm talking about? It's Matariki or Maori New Year. In old Maori stories, Rangi Nui, the Sky Father, and Papa Tuanuku, the Earth Mother, were pressed together. Which made the space between them very small and dark. One of their sons, Tane, the god of forest, pushed the sky up, and put up big poles to keep the sky and the earth apart. Tafiri Matea, the god of the weather, another son of the sky and earth, disagreed and was so angry that he ripped his eyes out and threw them to the sky. His eyes became a group of stars called Matariki, meaning the eyes of the god Tafiri Matia. These stars rise in the middle of winter, and for Maori people, this marks the start of a new year. Matariki is the time to remember those who have died. Maori people held a ceremony with special foods. Got together and thought of the family members and friends who died last year. It is also the time to enjoy the present. Matariki happened after people had finished harvesting all the crops and filling the house with food. They sang and danced to celebrate the change of season and welcome new beginnings. Then they look to the future. And plan for the new year. If the stars were bright, the weather would be great, and they would begin planting crops in September. If they couldn't see the stars clearly, it meant a cold winter was coming, and they would not start planting until October. Matariki celebrations were popular for a long time, but stopped in 1940s. In the beginning of the twenty-first century, people started celebrating it again. In twenty seventeen, Wellington City moved the traditional fireworks display from November on Guy Fawkes Day to July to celebrate Matariki instead. In twenty twenty two, Matariki became a public holiday, and every year it takes place in late June or early July. Depending on the Maori lunar calendar. Across the country, thousands of Kiwis are celebrating the rise of the star cluster that marks the start of the Maori New Year. <laughs> Karakia by some of Maori Dim's most distinguished leaders. <laughs> and a special food offering for the stars. As Aotearoa welcomes our first Matariki holiday, a milestone made possible by Professor Rangi Ma Tamua, who's dedicated his life to learning and sharing ancient celestial knowledge. The nine star cluster signalling a time to reflect and plan for the year ahead. Each fetu has its own unique meaning. Celebrations have been taking place right across the country. Now firmly part of our national identity. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.